Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So, we got to this point when we found c squared on L was 0.035. So that's the first entry there. So we can come and write K subscript 1, which is the stiffness, global stiffness matrix of member 1, is equal to. So it's a, L, a E is constant, that's staying out the front. Okay, so we're going to open up this. Now, once again, this is 3, 4, 1, 2. So 3, 4, 1, 2. It's nice to make it quite big on your page. And this is 3, 4, 1, 2. Okay, this labeling is very important. You're going to see why when we combine it later. Anyway, so the first entry, 3, 3, was c squared on L, which we saw is 0.035. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and calculate every single one of these, and it'll take a bit of time. But what you're going to notice is that because it's 0.7071, and we did c squared, so it's that 0.7071 times 0.7071 divided by root 200. It's pretty much the same as cos times sine, because that's 0.7071 times minus 0.0701 divided by root 200. So the only difference is actually just a negative out the front. I hope you guys can see that. It's just, this one was 0.7071 squared, which is positive, divided by root 200, and that gave you 0 .0, 0 0.035, right? Whereas CS will be 0.7071 times minus 0.0701 divided by root 200 is actually just going to give you minus 0.035. So <clears throat> the absolute value of all our values will just be 0 .0, 0, 0.035. But the thing that's going to differ is going to be the positive or negative. So we just need to go look through all these and figure out what they're all going to be. Okay? So cos squared would be 0 .0, 0 0.0035, but there's a minus out the front. So that's going to give us minus 0 0.035. So <clears throat> cos times sine would be minus 0 0.035, but there's an extra minus out the front. So that's going to give us a positive. <clears throat> 